Hello guys and welcome back to the Hobby Room Studio. We've got a lovely Thursday afternoon here in Delray Beach, Florida. Sorry about being on hiatus from my videos for so long. Uh, tons going on with the Dean Senior Memorial Warbird event coming up. Um, we did some uh, shifting around and moving uh, within my family. Uh, lots of new stuff going on in my world, which slowed down the YouTube video making process. But alas, unfortunately for you, I am back. So this is my second video of the day, and it was going to start out with this whole deal on Spectrum Smart uh, chargers and lipos, and I had got it all set up, and I shot it, and I had got right to the part where I said, let's plug it in, and then I realized that these are IC3 connectors, whereas the 4S lipos are IC5. So off to Amazon, order up some connectors, they'll be here tomorrow. But I didn't want to stop at that. So why are we dealing with such big stuff, IC5 and 4S packs? Well, I told you guys big stuff is coming to the channel, right? Well, we've, we've reached that point. Here we go. There is the Arma Outcast, um, Outcast, excuse me, Arma Creighton 8S. Um, go ahead and pull the body off, show you guys the inside. There's a million videos on all of this stuff, so I'm not going to bore you to death. Um, but I'll tip it up on end just so that you can see. We are all loaded up. We've got our uh, Spectrum Smart LiPo batteries in there. And I will say, Arma did do one silly thing in that they completely work with hand in hand with Spectrum. This has got a Spectrum receiver in it, uh, Spectrum ESC, um, and it's set up for Spectrum packs, but the Spectrum packs have to stand on end to fit in the battery holders, which I thought was kind of a silly oversight on Arma's, uh, on Arma's side. But again, I'm not doing a review. I'm just showing you guys what's new to the channel. So this is what's new right now. We've got the Creighton 8S. Um, I've already gone ahead and charged up the batteries. I've already gone ahead and set up the ESC. What I haven't done yet is had a play with it. You can see the tires are still brand new. It's never been out on the dirt. And I'm going to go change that in just a minute. But I wanted to thank you guys for stopping in. Again, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, you, know, you guys see it. We have everything from giant warbirds to vintage RCs. And now we're bringing in you know, giant high performance RCs. Um, into the equation. So um, the importance, obviously, of like, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell is clear. You guys know all of that. But also, what I'd like you guys to do, if you would, um, leave a comment. Leave a comment down below on what comment on what content you're liking, what content you're wanting to see more of. Um, the Hobby Room Boat project is still uh, well underway. Um, well, I'll fill you in on that on a later video, but uh, that's well underway. So we're, we're kind of all over the place, but that's fun. That's the whole point of the hobby, right? All right, guys, go out, do your hobby, do your RCing. Thank you for watching and look for another video coming up real soon.